My name is Gloria Green. During the day, I'm a clinical dietitian and I work at SickKids. And at night and on the weekends, I'm an abstract artist. About eight years ago, I moved into this space, bare walls, 16 feet ceilings, and I thought there needs to be some life in here. So I bought some canvases and wanted to add some color. The nature of what I do for a living, looking after children with cancer, can probably be a little bit more stressful than usual. So I guess uh, one way of um, releasing that stress or coping might be transferring those emotions onto canvas. Music is really important and fundamental to me. So actually when I paint, I always listen to music. Actually, sometimes it takes quite a long time to figure out what I actually want to listen to depending on my mood and the type of painting that I'm working on. It's challenging trying to get your work into different galleries. There's tons of artists out there um, just to get into the art scene and the art community. I participated in Toronto Art Expo. I've had my work in restaurants and coffee shops in a few galleries. This is a great opportunity now to have a solo show on this type of alternative venue, not a traditional gallery, so that's, uh, that's great. The upcoming show is called Street Noise. The venue is called Rupa Gal, 927 Queen Street West. It's a beautiful boutique. There's works of art that are accessories, so it's a beautiful complement, synergistic. In terms of my work, I think will really look nice in this venue. And there's about 10 pieces that I'm gonna have. And um, it's about the influence of the beauty and the grit of the street. I walk to and from work every day and I see and hear sirens, I hear noises, I hear conversations, I see this street art and cracks on the sidewalk and that all happened to be influential in terms of what came out in these recent pieces. Most definitely I think my artwork is reflective of my personality non-traditional. There's a little rebellious side to me. I get mixed reactions. I know with certain series people are drawn to another series they aren't, and that's okay. That's cool. I want them to feel something. 